Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So in the previous episode, we made our way over here to Kakariko Village, and now we're gonna go down there and see what's going on. So here, let me let me actually try something. Face this way, use the shield. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Use the shield. Jump. Aw, oh, darn, wait. I need to do uh, this. There we go. Come on. Whoops. Okay. What? I'm still riding the shield? What? That is actually really cool. That is actually insanely cool. We were still on the shield. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. So, it's it's a chicken. I wonder if this is the same chicken as, like, the chickens in the other games. By that I mean... What happens if I try to attack it? Okay, it is like the other chickens. Run! 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 It's like the other chickens! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 run, run, go, go inside, go inside, no, 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 not the chickens, not those chickens, oh, man, oh, man, it's just like an ocarina of time, just like an ocarina of time, you there, who are you, how dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode, hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? Uh, but that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Uh, uh... Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. I wonder which Impa this is. Because there have been multiple versions of Impa. So I'm curious to see. A man? Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate. Uh, could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? Uh, what was his name? Lean, Le 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 uh... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is P... P... Pi... Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. Uh, I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother has been awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. Okay, sure. Sure, I'll go inside. Uh, Master Link, uh, you're very close to me right now. What? What? Okay, I was just at the door. That's weird. Oh gosh, hi. It's a cutscene. Alright, so that was a little cutscene there. Uh, so, she said she's much older now, but apparently we still remember her. But I don't really remember her. Anyways, let's see here. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. I see, so you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dear Slink, please come a bit closer. Okay. A uh, hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess, Zelda final, uh, Princess Zelda's final wish. Can't even talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However... These words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear uh, while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you're ready to hear 
uh, to receive the princess's message returned to me. Eh, why not? Uh, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Eh, sure. Ha. Huh. Not a memory to your name, yet uh, you are as intent as ever to charge forward with the only courage and with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. All right, so she was just telling us the story of what happened 10,000 years ago, and since it was a cutscene, I am not able to include it in the YouTube video, but to summarize what she was explaining, she was just saying how the four divine beasts and all the guardians fought against Calamity Ganon alongside a hero and a princess in order to take him down and seal him away, and also how an ancient civilization created technology in order to protect the kingdom if Ganon ever returned. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior, but in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. Uh, that is what she said. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast... Okay, that is a difficult name that I'm going to try to pronounce and probably not say it right. The divine beast Va-Rudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Va-Mado, controlled by Ravali of the Rido. The divine beast Va-Ruta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast uh, Va-Naboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate uh, the Divine Beast that were stole away by, uh, stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Okay. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Free to Divine Beasts. New objective. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device uh, Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now, let's see. Uh, someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Hateno Village? Okay, we're going to go over to Hateno Village. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It's a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Okay, I'll go there. You are Princess Zelda's only hope in Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Okay, Impa. See you later. See you later. Let's get out of here. Okay, I was expecting something to happen there, but no. Nothing happened. We're good. We're good. Anyways, can we go over to this statue and pray in order to get something? Ooh, yes we can. Yes we can. Let's get a stamina vessel. I shall grant the power you seek. Nice. Nice. That stamina vessel looks really nice. There we go. Thanks. Thanks. So now we've got, like, a little bit more of our stamina meter. I wonder, like, how much more is that, like... Uh... Okay, it's, it's a decent amount. Let me, let me see something here. Climb this jump yeah yeah it's a decent amount so that's good anyways let's head over this way let's head over this way okay looks like we're gonna have to go around with splendid carrots it looks like someone's gone great lengths to grow them <sighs> the game won't let you take them the game will not let you take them it, it realizes like oh man 
That'd be terrible, you know, telling them to go and steal people's carrots. What kind of terrible person would do that? Anyways, I did see an item over here. Grab that. Why is there an apple? Just why? Why? Why is there an apple there? Anyways, let me actually check out some of these houses here. Uh, hey, how could you be so rude bothering a lady in her room and at night of all times? Huh? Isn't that a Sheikah slate? Are you the hero grandmother told me about the legendary swordsman of the Great Calamity? Wow! I figured you'd be all old and wrinkly by now, but you are not. Young people like me have a hard time wrapping our heads around something like the Great Calamity. Huh? Judging by the look on your face, I'd say you're having a hard time with it too. You must be kidding me. I don't know about that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure the hero of a legend is on like a quest or something. I'm uh, running a clothing shop here, so stop by if you're looking for something to wear. Yeah, I'm looking for something to wear. Of course I am, you know? It's always good to get more clothes. More clothes are good. Because, you know, more clothes are... I can't even talk. More clothes are always amazing, because you can have a variety in your outfit. A variety in your outfit choice. Anyways, let's see here. It looks like there is something up there. Oh, it's just two arrows. It's just two arrows. Okay. That's not really that important. So let's run over here. Let's run over this way. Looks like we just have to follow this path. If we just follow this path, we should make it over to uh, wherever we need to go, which is like the research lab. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Ah, oh, darn. Dude, don't hit me. Ooh, flint. Okay. Wah, you died. You died. Except he's not really dead. He's just temporarily unable to fight also there's a frog here frog buddy what how how did it just walk into the wall uh uh what what even what even What am I supposed to do here? Maybe I use this? Oh, this is a... This is a Korok puzzle. Definitely. Definitely a Korok puzzle. Like, whenever there's just little stuff like that that you notice, it's pretty much always a Korok puzzle. That's cool. I mean, that was a really cool one. Anyways, let's see here. Let me grab some normal arrows. And there we go. Darn, I was hoping I could get two there. But I only got one. Eh, I mean, it's okay that we only got one. But it would have been cool to get two. You know? Would have been pretty cool. Anyways, let's see if we can get to the top of this little mountain here. Uh, I kind of want to get to the top of it in order to get a better, like, vantage point while going over to this other part of the world. Oh, hi. How's it going? Darn. I walked right into that, didn't I? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, go, 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 go. Take him. Take him down. Step back. Step back. Weapons, weapons. Go in. Uh, shield. Use that. Okay. Jump to the side. Okay, let's see here. Okay, go in. Go in. Take him down, take him down, take him down. 
Okay, take him down. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Uh... Uh... Let's use this. Our boomerang is badly damaged. I know. I can tell. Also, let me save my game real quick. Because, you know, we just did stuff that isn't good. Okay. I died. But luckily, I saved my game right before I died. Because I knew I was going to. So, hey. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Anyways, let's see here. Let's see here. Continuing on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Okay. I can't quite do this, but... Come on. There we go. There we go, there we go. I just had to get a little further away from them. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Ancient Battle Axe. Go, go, go. There we are. No, no, no. Oh, that was a close one. That was a really close one. Grab on. Oh, no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Uh, might be better just to let go. But I did find something by letting go. There's a boat there. Might be able to use that. Might be able to use that for something. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think here. Like, what, how do I want to go about taking these dudes down? Okay, grab this. Go. Go. Okay. Go. Go. There we go. We took him. Took him down. Took him down. There we go. Open up. There we are. There we are. We opened it up. Well, we didn't open up, but we unlocked it. Anyways, let's open it up now. It's un It was unlocked. Ooh. Hetsu's Maracas. What are those for? I'm assuming I can't use it for a weapon. But it'll be somewhere in our inventory. It's a key item. So this is something that we needed. So that's actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of cool. Anyways, let's jump down and glide and drop down and glide. There we go. Let's go, buddy. By buddy, I mean boat. And by let's go, I mean let's go. Can I not steer you? Okay. Uh, let's hit you once. No. Okay, can I use this? No. But I can use this. Ooh, there's something down there. Can I grab that? There's a chest. But it's too far away. Darn. That would have been pretty cool if I could grab that. Anyways, use this on you again. Okay, use it once. Okay, no. This isn't gonna work, is it? Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, remote bomb. Drop. Uh... Yeah, that should be far enough away where it'll still do some damage. Okay. Can I detonate this? 
Is this just not going to detonate? Unless I have... Oh, that makes sense. Okay, wait, wait. Switch back over to this. Detonate. Okay, come on. There's got to be some way to propel you. Okay, let's do this. I am genuinely, like, dedicated to this now. How are you supposed to... How are you supposed to do this? I don't get it. Hmm. This might work. Okay, this might work. Okay. Yeah, that hit it. That hit it. Let's go. Really? Really? <sighs> I've been trying to move this boat onto this water, but it's not working. Okay, can you can we just go? I wish there was a way to just pull it, you know? Maybe I need to push the sail? How are you supposed to get this thing off of here? I am genuinely curious. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Let me try this first. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Try this. Do this. Might move you forward. Come on. Can you, can you like do the things? There we go. Run. Run. Jump. Oh man. We're on the boat. We're on the boat. Woo. We made it. Pretty proud of myself. Took me way too long, but, you know, we finally have done it. Okay. Now, the question is, where is that chest? There you are. Okay, let's pick this up once we actually travel over it. And since the boat is starting to pick up speed, we should... No, no, no. Oh, I missed my chance. Darn. Darn, that might have been something pretty cool. Might have been something pretty cool. Anyways, it's pretty cool that we're on a boat, though. Like, that's kind of crazy. I mean, look at this. It's Link! On a boat! Has that ever happened in another game? Has Link been able to ride boats in other Zelda games? I don't think so. But in this one, Link can ride boats. And it's very cool. It is very cool. So let's see here. I'm going to wait until we actually get closer to somewhere where I can jump off before I jump off. Since it wouldn't be a great idea to jump off right now. Because we can't really climb any of these mountains. And I don't even want to try. So, yeah. Ooh, take. Ooh, wait, wait. Take, 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 take the fish. Take the fish. I wanted to take the fish. I didn't take the fish. All right. Anyways, I think I'm actually going to end off this episode here for now. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Bye, everybody.